Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to another week of Daily Dose Radio. This week we're studying Psalm 85. We're going to be looking at verses 1 and 2 today. But before we get started there, I just want to kind of give you a heads up. Daily Dose Radio is going to celebrate six years of broadcasting, or should I say podcasting. And it's going to be on the, the week of the 18th through the 22nd. Actually, the 21st of March is our anniversary. Six years. So look forward to that. I don't think we'll be through with the second book of the Psalter by then, because, let's see, this week we're going to do Psalm 85, and then... We'll do Psalm 86, the 4th through the 8th, and Psalm 87, the 11th through the 15th. So we'll be to Psalm 88 on the 18th through the 22nd. We won't make it to the end of the second book of the Psalter. Six years, though. That's pretty good. Today we're looking at Psalm 85. This is another psalm of the sons of Korah to the chief musician, or from or of the chief musician, And we're going to look at verses 1 and 2 today. So if you have your Bible, I hope you'll get it out so that we can look at this together. If you don't, I'll be glad to read it for you. This is verses 1 and 2. Lord, thou hast been favorable unto thy land. Thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Selah. So we have these first two verses with the Selah. And you'll notice that it's very similar. This is a very high note, isn't it? Lord, we start with. The very first word in the psalm is, Lord, you have been. You've been favorable to your land. You've brought back the captivity of Jacob. You notice these repeats four different times here. Verse 2, you have forgiven the iniquity of your people. You have covered all their sin. So the land is mentioned. The captivity of Jacob is mentioned. So perhaps they've come back from captivity, or perhaps this is just captivity captivity in a general sense. Uh, Maybe this was written during a time when there was a great revival, such as Josiah's reign, or the reign of Joash. One of those reigns where there was a great revival, maybe it's Hezekiah's reign, and the previous king before was wicked, and so they're saying the captivity that we've come out of because of sin— that could be. But the Lord's the one that's done this. The, Lord's is, the Lord has been favorable to the land, because remember, that's his promise to the people. You've brought back your people from captivity, whether physical captivity, such as in Babylon, or a captivity of sinfulness, such as you know the reign of Ammon to the reign of Josiah. That would be considered bringing back from captivity. Verse 2, you have forgiven the iniquity of your people. So whether it's from a Babylonian captivity or whether it's from the captivity of some idolatrous sin that they committed, some iniquity initiated that, something that they did not repent of, something that they did not walk away from. God had to judge them and put them in captivity. So now he's forgiven. Again, this is completely the work of God. And you have covered all their sin. Only God can do that. The Lord God is the only one who can cover all of our sin. And how does he do that? He does that through the work of his son, Jesus. And his sacrifice covers all of our sin. Now, we have a Selah here. Some have suggested, uh, Arthur Weiser being one of those, that this is antiphonal. This is meant as a choir piece for the congregation to sing, sort of like a hymn that they would sing when they would come into the place of worship. It could be, but you'll notice This is strong. This starts off well, doesn't it? God's been favorable. He's brought back. He's forgiven, and he's covered all sin. Wonderful how this psalm begins. Join me tomorrow. We're going to hear a little bit more of that and then hear the psalmist's prayer on Daily Dose Radio. Hey there, friends. Just wanted to remind you to go out and get yourself a copy of my new book, Christianity to the Life, by Cotton Mather, edited by me, David Smith. You can find it at Amazon. It's a paperback. It's also in Kindle form, so you can get it for your Kindle or you can get it for your library at home, however you'd like to have it. If you do, I really would appreciate if you would write a review after reading it. Let me know what you think, 
And it's a really good book. It'll encourage your Christian walk with the Lord. So go out and get Christianity to the Life today on Amazon. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.